Oh, hey, how's it going? Um, so today we're going to be talking about squishing syringes, exploring properties of matter. So uh, here's our lab manual. Let's go ahead and dig, dig right into it. Um, it's going to be a two-part thing, part A, part B. Um, essentially what we're covering here is going to be states of matter and compressibility of substance, and then temperature of matter and compressibility of substance. So part A and part B, there's going to be, you're going to need to develop a hypothesis for part A, and a hypothesis for part B. We'll start with part A. So uh, the independent variable is going to be state of matter. The, D, the DV is going to be compressibility of substance. So um, develop a hypothesis on, based on what you think that relationship is between the state of the matter and the compressibility. All right, so uh, part A, let's go over our materials. Our materials are right here, Get you down here so you can see them. All right, so we've got three syringes. We've got three syringe caps, powdered sugar, uh, room temperature water and air. All right. So let's go ahead and go through methods for, for part A. So you want to fill a syringe to the 10 millimeter line with powdered sugar. Okay, so I'm just going to pop the, pop the plunger off, put the powdered sugar in. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, a funnel might help. I'll get you guys a funnel. So fill that with 10 millimeter, milliliters. Okay. Boom, right there, okay? Then, go ahead and put the plunger in, and you're gonna push the plunger down to 10, down to the 10 milliliters, where it just contacts the powdered sugar. Now, some's gonna come out the front um, of the syringe, that's fine, no big deal. So go ahead and push it in, and you'll know you'll have 10 milliliters, where you'll see the funnel, or the, sorry, the plunger, kind of has a shape like this, Right at the base of that triangle, at the base of that object, is going to be the line, okay? So that's 10 milliliters. Just line that up right there if you can see it. All right. So once you've got that on, put the plunger on. Make sure the plunger's on nice and tight. Um, for this lab also, you're going to need uh, safety glasses and a lab coat. Um, no need for the protective gloves. Uh, safety glasses, just because if these things become airborne, they tend to fly at high rates of speed. So, um, all right, so I've got this. Powdered sugar, put the plunger into the syringe until it meets, just meets the powdered sugar, check. Place the tip of the syringe of, place the syringe tip of syringe B in a beaker of room temperature water, okay? So you wanna be like, the plunger should be all the way depressed. Put it in, then you wanna pull it out up to just a little bit past 10, okay? All right, so now I've got, now my syringe is full, is, is full of water. You saw that bubble go up. So I'm a little bit past 10, I want 10 milliliters. There's also a little bit of bubble at the top. We need to get rid of that, okay? So all you do is just slowly push the plunger to the 10 milliliter mark. And again, um, there's the triangle, and the base of the triangle is the line that's gonna indicate 10 milliliters. So you just put it back over the water, just push it forward a little bit, just like that, and it'll push all the air out. And there we go, okay. Then once, that, once that's done, put the cap on and you're good. Then all there is, all that's left to do is to see if your hypothesis was correct. So um, I'm gonna record the room temperature on, I'm gonna record, re, bleh, excuse me, record the room temperature on the chart. Now your chart is right here. It's where all your data goes, okay? It's on the second page. Then, we're gonna compress each plunger, the one with the powdered sugar in it, the one with the water in it, and see what we get. And then, again, record that on the data table. That is part one, part A of the experiment. Now we're going to part B. So um, this time our IV is the temperature of the state of matter and the compressibility of the substance. Okay? So again, I'm gonna fill, I'm gonna fill another syringe with powdered sugar, okay? Um, what I would do, I would just take this, this, this is the powdered sugar one, right? So I wanna take this out and just empty all the powdered sugar out. You might need to dig a little bit out if it's sort of compacted. I wonder why it's compacted like that. I wonder what happened to the air molecules in between the powdered sugar molecules. Hmm. Okay, so anyway, uh, and then just start with fresh, with fresh powdered sugar. So again, fill it up, same procedure, okay? Put it in. Depress the plunger until it gets to 10, until it touches the, uh, until it touches the 
powdered sugar and see what happened? Here was my mistake, right? Darn, that plunger just does not... Again, I wonder what's going on with that, why the plunger isn't really going down. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and take the cap off, see if that works. There we go. All right. Put the cap back on. Again, kind of a cool concept. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. All right. So um, then you've got the powdered sugar. You've got your room temperature water. And this time you also want air. So again, cap off. Pull back to 10. Drop the air inside. All right. Since our, since our independent variable's temperature states a matter, you are going to record the water temperature on your chart again, okay? Then you put one in hot water, one in room temperature water, and one in cold water, okay? Um, so basically what you're gonna do is you're going to see what effect this has, what the hot, cold, and room temperature water has on the compressibility of each substance, okay? So remember, the substance is going to be air, water, and powdered sugar, okay? So you're gonna see what the compressibility is of like the powdered sugar in the hot water, powdered sugar in the room temperature water, powdered sugar in the cold water, right? So remember, um, keep refilling the powdered sugar just so you have a fresh sample each time. Um, don't need to worry so much about, no, I, mean, I guess you can. Um, probably don't need to replace the air, if you want to replace the water with fresh water, go for it, okay? All right, then again, you record all the data on your chart. See if your hypothesis was correct with the relationship between temperature of state of the matter and the compressibility. Last but not least, answer the questions. Um, have an amazing time with this experiment, and I will see you in class.